do you have any idea what will be the mass of this particular part do you know where the cg of this particular part will be if the part is actually created on 0 comma 0 comma 0 that is your origin in the introduction to cat tools we had discussed that in cat tools when we create the models what we can do is we can actually get the mass properties of these models very easily we will see how we can get the mass properties in this session first to calculate the mass properties of any model any part it is necessary that uh, you apply suitable material on that definitely there will be some material to your part which you are going to manufacture so we will be applying that material we have a specific material directory in the software we just have to select the material and apply it on apply on it if you don't have the specific material available then you can define the required material as well for that you will need to go for apply material toolbar in that there is a single tool available apply material just select this it will open the dialog box having the materials available you can see related to constructions there are materials available glass great marble no skid all tile concrete related to fabrics there are materials metals which we have to use being a mechanical engineer we have the materials other materials just for uh, shape if you want to give paintings materials or colors shape review stone wood I'll go for uh, selection of any metal say I would like to give titanium to this so I will select this material I have selected I will select the part and I will say apply material and ok so you can see the titanium material is actually added in the feature tree when it is added in the feature tree it means this particular material is being applied on it if you want to visualize then you can go for view toolbar in that we had option for shading with material so that shading will be visible to you with the material now we have to check what the mass what is the mass of this particular component or what will be where uh, the center of gravity of this product will be so for that we will be using measure toolbar in measure toolbar we have three tools measure between measure item and measure inertia measure between we will be able to maintain or measure distance between two entities say I want to measure the distance between this axis and this axis the distance it is showing as 40 mm so this will actually help us in inspecting if you want to check the distances if you want to check the angles if you want to check the uh, lengths uh, etc then you can go for these measure between also whenever you will apply any of the feature from measure toolbar there will be the same feature will be added over here okay I'll cancel it I'll again go for measure between say I want to go for measuring between this axis and uh, this I'll be getting the result in the similar manner I will have measure item if I want to just go for the measurement of a particular item say radius of this curve 
I'll be getting radius is this center point this switch the radius of this I will be able to get it then comes measure inertia I'll go for measure inertia it will ask me for selection so I'll directly select the part or I can even select part body as well these are the inertia properties volume of this this much area this much mass 42.362 grams uh, we had defined the grams we had defined the unit of mass as grams in the initial settings so it is showing us in grams density 4460 kg per meter cube which we had given or which was actually already defined for titanium material center of gravity coordinates inertia principal moment everything is available you can directly pick the properties from here this is all about your apply material and measure toolbar now why it is necessary to apply the material before inspecting the properties let's say I'll delete the material from here and then I'll go for major inertia check this this is giving me the result but by considering density as thousand so if you want to go for major inertia without any material then the software will give you result but that result will not be accurate result for you which actually you are expecting from the software because you have missed the step of applying the material you have not defined which material this particular part has until unless you define the material it will not pick the density and with default density it is giving you the result so this was uh, your apply material and measure toolbar hope you can now calculate the mass properties of any part or any assembly you create in Katia V5.